Привет, товарищи! Welcome to the wonderful outdoors. Today I'm gonna show you how to make something very unconventional. It's called the upside down campfire. Now, all this means is that we're gonna take the typical, you know, TP style fire and we're gonna completely redesign it by placing the big logs and then we're gonna crisscross and put medium and then we're gonna put some smaller stuff on top, so like a pyramid. And it's gonna go from big to small and we're gonna layer it. As you guys can see, I have my medium and large logs put down and I have everything going from big to small. At this point, it's now time to put some of the smaller, smaller firewood and some kindling on top of this pile and build it even higher. This is a closer look, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Just in case you guys are wondering what I'm using for kindling, is these dried out pine needles. These are really excellent and they burn really fast. And it achieves the high heat required to jumpstart this. At this point you guys can see that this is fully completed and I have my small sticks and I'm about to put my kindling and I'm about to start this fire. As you can see it's fully structured going from large to medium to small. As you guys can see the fire is very well established. We're going into about 30 minutes of burn time. The fire and the coals are really great. And at this point, if this was a signal fire, you could leave it unattended and it would burn by itself without any more help from you for at least a couple more hours. and uh, be sure to reward yourself after a job well done like this as you guys can see it's about three hours later after the fact and the coals are very very hot at this point you can make some baked potatoes or anything else of that nature so it got a little dark out there and I had to come inside but as you guys can see a fire like that is very useful you can use that as a signal fire you know make sure stay you know stick around for the first uh, five to ten minutes make sure it's very uh, very good start and then you can leave it and that fire can act as a signifier because it's already uh, on a pedestal because it's sitting higher up and it has plenty of air intake and that fire is going to fuel itself for probably uh, that kind of fire that I made you know two and a half feet tall two and a half feet wide uh, that, that fire lasted a little over four hours very useful technique this upside down campfire so I challenge you go outside make something like this the next time you go around you would be surprised how effective it is how efficient it is how much I would you know for, for the area it takes up and the mass it's very 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 hot fire and it burns very efficiently and as always I hope you guys like this video go ahead and comment down below subscribe for more videos and as always enjoy and I'll see you guys next time